With today's video, your day is gonna be zero points. I am sharing breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, and everything is zero points. We're gonna start off with breakfast. I got some eggs, zero points. Red pepper, zero points. Let's turn these into breakfast. In a bowl, I have some eggs that I'm just beating up a little bit here. <laughs> For seasonings, I'm gonna use some salt, pepper, and a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning. The full recipe, I will have it linked below. She uses ground turkey, and she also uses seasonings like sage and marjoram, and a little bit of red pepper flakes, and she makes it more like a sausage. So if you wanna use ground turkey, follow that recipe linked below. I am keeping mine simple. I am just doing some eggs and vegetables. Now vegetables are zero points, so you can add any kind of vegetable that you want to it, including onion, mushrooms. I mean, there's quite a large list of zero point vegetables. I am only making three today. I've sprayed my muffin tin, and I'm filling them up to about three fourths. Now I'm gonna add some red pepper. I'm adding mine instead of in the bowl. I decided to add mine right to the egg and then that way I can evenly distribute it. I have my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna pop these in and cook them for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're done. Ooh, look at that. Those look delicious. Oh my goodness, these egg cups are cooked to perfection. These smell so good. I am gonna take a breakfast break. I am gonna go eat some breakfast before we get started on lunch. For lunch today, we are gonna have a zero point lunch box. Today I'm cutting some corners with a package of rotisserie chicken that's already been shredded for me. You can find these at Walmart. Or you can purchase your own rotisserie chicken. They're less than $5 at Sam's Club. Grill up some chicken, however you wanna do it. I'm also keeping it easy with hard boiled eggs. These are at Walmart. They're already boiled, deshelled. They're perfect to quickly add into my lunchbox. I purchased these on Amazon. I'll have the link to them below. I'm gonna add some chicken to the one side. An egg. I have some red bell pepper that I've cut into strips some sliced cucumbers. This is an English cucumber. These ones are my favorite. An apple that I have also cut into strips. Keeps eating it easy. And a few grapes. This is a very simple lunch, but my goodness is it filling. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And zero points, perfect. The website that inspired me to create this, it had said that there are some Greek yogurt dips out there. I looked and I could not find them, but maybe you can find them in your store. That would be perfect for dipping the red pepper, cucumber, maybe even your egg and your chicken into the Greek yogurt dip. For dinner, we're gonna use our air fryer. I'm sure you can use the oven too if you don't have an air fryer. In a bowl, I'm adding some garlic powder. Little tiny bit of cayenne onion powder, some parsley, and some smoked paprika. Stir this together or shake. In a bowl, I have a chicken breast that I've pounded out. It is brining in some kosher salt and lukewarm water. Now, I'm only doing one chicken breast. You can do however many that you want for your family, but I'm just making one today. And in the past, I have brined chicken, and it is one of our most favorite meals. It's so good. You can add this chicken to salad, pita, pizza, or just eat it as is, which we are doing today because that's zero points. I placed my chicken on a paper towel. I'm just gonna kind of pat it a little bit. I have some olive oil cooking spray. I'm gonna spritz it. And I'm gonna take those seasonings and I'm gonna rub the seasonings on both sides. Adding my chicken to the air fryer. I will have my air fryer linked below. I'm gonna set my air fryer to 380 and we're gonna cook it for five minutes, flip it five more minutes and then I'll check the temperature. Oh my, doesn't this just look super delicious? Look at all that flavor. The recipe says that you can finish cooking it in the pan to get all the pinkness out. But I think because I pounded my chicken out and I only had one in there, if you put more than one chicken breast in your air fryer, don't crowd them. Keep room in between your chicken breasts. But anyway, mine cooked completely through. Mine was like 180 something and still climbing. So mine's done. Oh wow, mm, no, you gotta give this a try. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to make sure I have nothing in my teeth before I film dessert. What? Yes, dessert and zero points. <laughs> this dessert is called zero point chocolate mug cake. Can't go wrong with chocolate and a cake. 
<laughs> in a bowl, I've added one egg. I mashed up a banana and I added it to the egg. One tablespoon of unsweet cocoa powder. The recipe calls for stevia or splenda. I am using monk fruit. I will have it linked below. I get mine on Amazon. It says one packet of stevia, so I'm gonna put in about a half a teaspoon of the monk fruit, maybe a little less. This goes a long way. It makes something sweet very quick. I'm gonna give everything a good mix, and if you want to, you can add it to a mug. I think I'm gonna keep mine in my bowl. That way I just dirty less dishes. Now that everything is combined, we're gonna pop it in the microwave. And I'm gonna microwave it for two minutes. Doesn't that just look divine? You can add sugar-free whipped cream to it, and you got a perfect dessert. This is sweet and chocolatey. This is really good. You gotta give this a try. And there you have it, a full day of zero point foods. From breakfast all the way to dessert. Looking for more Weight Watcher videos? Well, I have them right here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.